I'll start, I guess. Um, sure. Coach, you were, you were seen to be in the locker room for a while there mm -hmm. after the game. What, what was the message you got after maybe been an ugly win? Um, yeah, it's a great way to put it, but um, I'm actually proud of the group because um, good teams need to figure out a way to win ugly sometimes, and, and that was an ugly game. There's no way to, um, on, on both sides of the ball, especially offensively, um, you know, they did a really good job of kind of junking the game up, mixing their defenses up. We missed some shots that I thought probably had the potential to break the game open, and we did not respond well to that. Um, but, you know, I'm happy that uh, defensively we were pretty darn good tonight, you know, forcing 24 turnovers uh, and holding them to one assist. Um, that's pretty darn good. Um, and, and I thought our group really kind of embraced what our, our scouting report was from a defensive standpoint um, and really executed on that side of the ball. So I'm going to always celebrate the positives. Um, there are things that we ultimately need to get a lot better at from an offensive side of things, um, and we will. You know, we have way too much firepower on this team, way too many good offensive players. Um, you know, not to play a little, just more sound. 19 turnovers is way too many. You guys are up. Um, the game's kind of still in the balance. You guys were up about 240 to go. Mm -hmm. And you got a key sh uh, three from Shabazz. You got uh, back to back shots from uh, Josh Kuhn and, mm -hmm. um, and Rozak. Mm -hmm. And could you just talk about your team's resiliency and, and grit? Yeah. Stretch? No, I, I think, like, like I said, kind of at the outset, um, I'm just proud that, you know, in the moments where we needed to make a play to win the game, we, we figured out a way to do that. Um, you know, do I, do I want every game to look like that? Heck no. Um, but I think if you use it the right way, you can learn a lot um, being in a game like that and understanding that no matter how good or bad you're playing, um, we're always in a position to win if we just keep coming and coming. And I thought that was a really a good testament to our group. Like there was no quitting them. We didn't uh, tank. You know, I've seen a lot of games where um, you get down and, and you start to get a little tight. And we just kept playing, especially on the defensive side of the ball. We're first to the floor, got a lot of 50-50 plays, as we call them. Um, and I think that really just turned the momentum of the game and, and kind of got us going. And um, so just proud that our guys just figured it out in that sense. The game got a little chippy toward the end with a technical foul uh, mm. that was turned into a flagrant one. Could you talk a little bit about how uh, your team kind of responded to the physicality of the game? Yeah, I mean, number one, we need to be keep our heads. You know, we can't we can't get into that kind of stuff, and we address that in the locker room. Um, you know, playing hard and playing with the edge doesn't mean that we do silly things that are going to cost our team points. Um, and I think that's a great learning experience for us. We play extremely hard. Cal Poly plays extremely hard. They're well coached. Um, two two really good teams just kind of going at it, and it was. An ugly game, but you know both teams really competed, in my opinion. What's the future look like over the next few games? Are there any points of emphasis that you want to focus on? Yeah, number one, we we need to kind of get back to having some good practices. You know, at the start of the season, we haven't been able to really practice, and um, you know things have been super light. And we need to have a couple good days of practice um, and get ready for Sunday. It's all about just told the team it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, and so each game we want to be a little bit better and improve on the areas that we need to improve on. And, and I'm confident that we'll do that, you know, come Sunday. Coach, you went to a couple different presses today. Was that, is that going to be a part of the game plan real quick? Or is that kind of just to get some energy? Yeah, no, that, you know, I think our team has the ability to do that. Um, you know, we've been working on it a little bit in practice. And um, sometimes in a game like that, when you're trying to find a rhythm, um, I was just trying to do something to get our team going. And, and I thought our guys did a really good job of changing the looks up defensively, um, you know, forcing 24 turnovers for them, obviously is a, uh, a big plus for us. Um, so that'll be something that we continue to do. And, and I think we can get even better at it in terms of the looks that we give people. And I know a lot of, a lot of the threes weren't going down tonight. What do you tell your, your shooters when, when some of those shots that don't really fall are, are falling? As long as we're shooting the right shots and they're quality shots, um, I'm never going to tell them not to shoot. Um, I know a lot of coaches would. Um, we have way too many good offensive players on this team. Um, 
the last thing I want them to do is second second guess themselves or hesitate. And and really, I said that to a couple of the guys. It's like you know, you're open, shoot. You know, don't second no second thoughts. Um, you know whether I should shoot or not shoot. Uh, and I'll, I'll continue to kind of voice that because there's going to be a game where we make 17 or 18 threes too. Um, and shooting sometimes, you know, it's a funny game. Um, it can be a little contagious, you know. And, and But we did figure out a way to get to the rim, get a couple layups, get to the free throw line, which has a way of um, kind of settling you down, you know, in a game like that. So I was just proud of our guys that they figured out a way to, you know, make a play when we need to make a play. Next question I had is um, the difference between last year's team, which was really really focused on three point shooting and mm -hmm. some space. How would you describe your difference in the philosophy from last year's team? Um, really, there's not a lot of difference in terms of what my philosophy is. I think our team is really still learning each other, you know, and adjusting to four new guys who are all kind of playing key roles for us. Um, you know, and, and we had two scrimmages where, you know, we played well from an offensive standpoint and, and took care of the ball. So for whatever reason, these first two games, we have not done a great job in that sense. Um, but we're going to get back to work, and, and I'm confident in our group um, that we'll be a lot uh, cleaner from an offensive standpoint come Sunday. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thank you.